name of the fourth unit is knowledge management system life cycle as we have seen in previous unit also that there are few challenges which are associated with the knowledge system development and its implementation first uh, challenge is the changing organizational culture so whenever the culture is being changed so everyone is not comfortable and it is not necessary that the change in the culture will necessarily bring, bring the change in the people's attitude and behavior although it is expected this is because every the needs and choices of everyone is different for example in the last unit we have studied that uh, if the company decides that at every friday afternoon 4 to 6 last two hours will be spent in entertainment or in informal chit chat or celebration of any birthday parties or anniversaries and music dance etc so that the employees can socialize themselves gel with themselves so that there is a attachment towards the company and stability increases and work performance increases but as i have mentioned that the choice of the people are different from others so few may argue okay we are working for 10 to 4 and we don't want to celebrate the 2 hours we want to go home 2 hours early okay although they have performed their work efficiently but the objective of the company to socialize among selves among the employees that purpose person that that objective will not be fulfilled so it is difficult to change the attitude and behavior of the employees second is the knowledge evaluation this is also a big challenge because when we are dealing with a lot of information and then we have to categorize into different columns and then extract some worthwhile knowledge out of it so it consumes lot of time and energy so this is also a challenge other one is the knowledge processing so it is a challenge because firstly it involves the identification of techniques to acquire the knowledge store the knowledge process and distribute the knowledge okay so what is the challenge in acquiring the knowledge or techniques to acquire for example for the beneficial of masses and transfer of tacit knowledge into explicit knowledge it is decided that okay video lecture of the experts will be recorded but uh, it is a challenge because everyone is not comfortable against the camera if someone is clicking pictures or recording videos of an expert he may not feel comfortable uh even you must have observed uh, while viewing the nptel lectures that are delivered by senior professors of indian institute of science but even then when the camera is focused on them they are not delivering their normal lecture okay so they are seem to be seem to be under pressure because if we are delivering our normal lecture we crack some jokes and we try, try to relax the students so that they can learn as well as enjoy okay so this is a challenge next is the storage of knowledge as we know that if we are talking of the video lectures then it requires lot of space so that space can be provided by the laptops desktops which is having the limited space secondly that space can also be destroyed due to virus attack malware etc and if we go for the cloud storage even that storage is limited if we talk free of cost for example in the google drive only 15 gb is available and if you record a video lecture good quality video lecture of 1 hour it consumes approximately 200 to 250 mb if the video is of mp4 quality so we can say that the storage is also a problem again process and distribution is a problem because before distributing we have to process that lecture for example if a person is taking lecture for 1 hour but some 20 minutes are lost in the attendance as in our case so the effective lecture delivery is of 40 minutes so if at all we are required to record a lecture we should go for only 40 minutes recording and not that attendance part okay so knowledge implementation is also a challenge because uh, people may try to avoid or to learn or innovate they may try to they they may be comfortable with the existing features and technologies and systems so they may try to avoid so the implementation point is also a challenge next is the uh, what is the difference between the conventional <coughs> system life cycle and the knowledge management system life cycle so 
the difference is the system analyst gathers the data from the users and that user depends upon the analyst for the solution but in the case of the knowledge management life cycle the knowledge developer gathers knowledge from the people or they take input from the people and uh, go for the solution from the person from the knowledgeable person who is aware of the solution the main interface between the system analyst is associated with the novice users what do you mean by novice user novice is the unexperienced untrained fresher okay so that person or a first user for example if a person is purchasing has purchased the uh, microwave oven or otc and that is his first microwave so he may not be much comfortable with the its operation so he may be knowing the problem ki okay it is not working or power switch is not working or touch is not working but he does not know the solution but the knowledge developer refer the problem to the knowledgeable person who knows the problem as well as the solution conventional system is primarily sequential but the knowledge management system life cycle is incremental and interactive what do you mean by incremental and interactive for example in case of the uh, tata sky users dish user tata sky user whenever whenever we are having any problem and we report the matter to them so they try to assist us in a interactive manner they might say okay turn on your tv turn on your set up box take that digital card out of the set up box it may have dust brush this dust and reinsert what signal is appearing so that if a person can do it yourself himself that is the best thing otherwise they go for the registration of the problem so that the technical person might visit them soon so that is similar to the knowledge management system life cycle it is interactive and incremental step by step method is being performed so in conventional system the testing is usually done at the end of the cycle but in the knowledge management system life cycle it is verified and validated step by step at every step so uh, system development and system management is much more extensive for conventional system than kmslc what does this mean that it in the conventional system there may be a big team and there may be experts for the different things but in the knowledge management system life cycle the team may be small but the smart people are there and they know the solution of most of the things for example in the uh, government banks sbi pnb etc when we enter what we see there are labeling different labeling cashier teller clerk manager etc but in the private banks for example i hdfc or icic banks so they are having the universal teller okay or or somewhere it is written single window operation okay so they will check checks they will issue the check books they will uh, receive the cash they will deliver the cash they will deliver the demand draft etc so single window operation is applicable for multiple works or the multi they are they you can say that they are multi talented enough they know these things conventional system like say is the process driven and everything is documented one you have to follow or fill the slips time and again but the kmslc is the result oriented it is mostly result oriented so conventional system development does not support much of the tools such as rapid prototyping although kmslc follow that so what is this rapid prototyping it is the incremental approach of solving the problem or a job which is divided into different tasks so this is the block diagram of the rapid prototype prototyping uh, in which a, first of all a problem is structured so uh, when that cycle is performed or that task is being performed uh, it may not be good enough in structuring okay in the sequence which is to be followed so uh, that problem can be restructured based on the restructuring of the task so that it is convenient and then the task is build up and if modification is required that is taken into account so this is the rapid prototyping so what are the similarities between the these two things conventional and the knowledge management system life cycle both starts with the problem and end with the solution and the tools which are used for the verifications are same and both the system analysing and knowledge developer need to choose the appropriate tools for solving the problem so what is the kmslc approaches although it is not standardizing but iterative design and prototype 
are being or private prototyping are being used frequently so in this first of all we have to evaluate the existing infrastructure so when we are talking of the existing infrastructure of the knowledge based company uh, we means the digital documents which we are having and the transfer of knowledge the technology or the infrastructure which is used in the transfer of knowledge for example different cables rg45 hdmi cables laptops projectors laser light bandwidth broadband etc those things so that is that so that uh, that internet facility is sufficient for the number of customers which are being employed there or not so system justification is done which is done by answering these following question is existing knowledge going to be lost through the retirement transfer or departure to other organization what does this mean that uh, some of the employees which are working or you can say in your case the students which are associated with the university so when your four years are completed your erp account is disabled your email account is disabled okay so so what does this mean it means that the if the student is still having any some papers in which he is detained and he is appearing in the summer of the fifth year so he will not be allotted that erp account okay so that is once disabled so it is disabled so few systems are like this in our case also if a person is leaving the job and he is reemployed for the same department so once his email is disabled same email is not provided to him okay so some of the systems erp systems are like this so is the proposed knowledge management system needed in multiple location okay are experts willing to support the proposed knowledge management system this it means that the whether the experts which are having with the company while developing the knowledge management system is are they available afterwards also for the supporting trouble shooting etc every student should mute their mic so does the concern problem needs years of proper experience experience people are are required or once it is installed it can run on its own while undergoing the knowledge capture it should serve the purpose to so that the experts can articulate the problem it can design the problem it can inform the problem effectively this is also one of the objective how critical is the knowledge to be captured is is it very necessary or not is it there any availability of champion within the organization as we have studied in the first unit a champion is a person who by influence of his power and financial freedom can stimulate or push the projects in the forward direction by spending something or by recruiting or by involving in any technology technical transfer hardware etc so next is the scoping so what is the scope of that project or knowledge management system so it is based on the financial human resource and operational constraints so feasibility analysis is to be done uh, that whether that project will be affordable appropriate or not within it will completed within the expected time frame uh, so what will be the cost so a uh, few tasks are to be done that forming a knowledge management team preparing a master plan okay, cost is to be done and quantification of the criteria and cost is the important thing the user support what support are we going to provide to the user that is also a task uh, that uh, <clears throat> whether uh, we are going for the sms type service or call center or touch machine applications for example we are we are having the touch machine application in the gandhi nagar railway station also in which we can just touch the starting station of our journey and end journey station then the ticket is issued okay so what kind of operational support should be provided what is what, what we are having the service team customer care team sir uh, teams are there or not for the backup plan so based on these things strategic planning is to be made and what is the uh, main role or the areas which is to be considered uh, for the strategy planning these are vision a person should have the vision of the project what are the he should be well aware that which are the resources which they can take care what is what is the culture being adopted in the company for the past few things so based on these areas that role can be devised for the strategic planning in which there will be evaluation of the existing infrastructure and 
how those things will be moved in the forward direction and simultaneously meeting the um, objectives of the that project or the knowledge management uh, system life cycle okay